Okay, here's another thing that I'd like to show you about iCal and mail and how the to-dos work. It's absolutely wonderful. I've been waiting for this for a while. So let's go ahead and add a new to-do item. And I'm going to call this Halloween. And let's go ahead and open this up. And the priority is going to be high priority. And the due date, of course, is going to be October 31st. Calendar belongs to me in the note. Get costume ready for Halloween party. Pick up goodie bags. Done. Okay, now by right clicking, I can select to mail this to do. So I'm going to mail this to Shelly Hall. And it says, Shelly Hall informs you of a to-do, Halloween, to add it to your calendar. Click the link below. How cool is this? So now I'm going to send this to the person I'm assigning this to-do. All right. And now within my mail window, as I'm looking, I can see that this to-do is right here. And uh, I love it. This is really great. And if I select edit to do, it opens it up, tells me if I want to select an alarm, puts a due date, my priority, and what calendar this belongs to. So that's the complete synchronization of the to do's between iCal and mail. Another neat feature. Okay, so here's another really fun one. This is called Photo Booth. And I'm recording this as I'm talking, so we'll see if it actually comes out. Now you can record photo, you can record video, you can do all kinds of really, really cool stuff with Photo Booth. So let's see what we've got. We've got some different effects that we can try here. See, now you get all the different effects going. I can select a colored pencil. Now I can look kind of Andy Warhol-ish. Pop art, more Andy Warhol-ish. Go back to my effects. We've got the thermal camera imaging going on here. And, uh, you know, your standard black and white. And then, of course, you get to the really fun stuff. Isn't that attractive? I'm going to go back to normal on that one. Okay, and then you have the ability to take a four shot. Now, this is really cool. Watch how this is so fun. Here we go. It's going to go. Three, two, one. That's first. And there we are. I've got a four pack shot there. Look how fun is that? Very, very cool. Okay, and now we also have video effects that we can add. And here's the video panel. Now this may slow down just a little when we're trying to do this. But here's the neat thing. If I go into effects, I actually have the ability to select one of these very, very cool backgrounds. Now, we're going to give this a shot and see how we do. So I'm going to go ahead and select this fish background and watch what records the screen. Step out of the frame. So you can see now it's got some little fishies that are recording and I come back in. Now I'm swimming in the deep blue sea. And if we go get some more effects, let's see. Now I've got the colored dots going on behind me. And whoa, I'm on a roller coaster. As you can see, this definitely needs some fine tuning as far as the pixels are concerned. So let's go back to effects here and let's do one more. Let's look at Yosemite. So you can see, yeah, there it is. The water rushing down the hills. Very cool. So let's go back to our plain old video here, our plain old picture, and we go back to effects. And once again, we can choose any of these for backdrops. So fun stuff. And that's some of the very cool stuff that you can do with Photo Booth. So go ahead and have fun with that.
Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you in Leopard is iChat. Now here's where you can really have some fun. As you can see, I have my window here. This is what I'm projecting. And this is what my great old uncle Stanley is projecting. Yes, this is Stanley. And I'd like to say Happy Halloween. <laughs> As you can see, he's a very personable old guy, and I do get some of my jeans from him, but it is Halloween after all, so we have to get in the mood. Anyway, back to our iChat. So with iChat, you have the ability to do some cool new things, include recording the video chat. You can share your documents so that other people that are invited into your chat can actually see documents that you want to share. So let's take a look at how this works, and then we're going to go ahead and create a very fun background to share. So to be be able to share your document I'm going to select share a file with iChat theater so I'm going to go select my file and uh, let's go to my let's go pick a cool photo and oh I have a photo from the Grand Canyon so let me go ahead and share this Wow now look at this the viewer this is what they're seeing is my actual Grand Canyon photo. So their desktop now looks like this, what they're seeing in the camera. And to close it out, I simply close out the window and I come back. So it's cool if you're doing presentations or you have some documents that you need to share. Very, very cool stuff. Another way to do that is just go onto your desktop which is really cool. You don't have to go searching through your finder. I'm going to go to my new little downloads folder and I have a file in there. I'm just going to grab it and look at this. I can send this to the other person I'm talking to or I can share it with iChat Theater. So I'm going to choose to share this. And this is the flyer for Real World Quark Express where I'm one of the guest authors. So I wanted to share this little flyer with you. Little plug for myself, you know. So, Uncle Stanley, what do you think about that? I really like the new effects. <laughs> so, that is iChat and uh, very cool stuff brought to you from Apple. I'm going to go close out this window. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is give to you my recommendations here for the new Leopard. Number one, install it on a secondary computer. I've lost some very important functionality because maybe the updates aren't there. Uh, Firewire users beware. You may lose connectivity for some issues. I lost it for my video camera, which is not good. Thank goodness I do have a second laptop. There were some email and network connectivity issues. However, Apple has already released a patch that helps with network. So go ahead and do your software update and get that downloaded. Lots of automator features are broken, and this comes from an inside source. And also, many third-party Photoshop actions do not work, so user beware. And my Epson 850NE can't get it on the network, no matter what I try to do. So there's some other printers and other folks that are having issues with getting their printers online, too. Good stuff. It's fast. It's really fast. InDesign opened like that so much faster and there's lots of great new features I absolutely love the ability to share the desktop and work on my remote computer email templates awesome spaces awesome I really love stacks some people may or may not find it useful I dig it so those are my recommendations and this is Shelley Hall with get creative bringing you a look at OS 10 Leopard and uh, this is the third of three parts because there was just so much cool information to show and I'll see you next week with the creative news for the week of November 5th. Happy Halloween and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.